Ahoy hoy everyone, it's Craig back at Disney's Hollywood Studios for another Disney Dining Review. Before I get started, I want to remind you this is brought to you by Dreams Unlimited Travel. If you like our content and you want to support us, please consider booking your next vacation through Dreams Unlimited Travel. It costs you no extra money and you get the world-class level of support from a Dreams Unlimited Travel agent. So head over to dreamsunlimitedtravel.com today for a free no-obligation quote. Now, just behind me is Dockside Diner. It has recently reopened with uh, some very interesting menu changes. Uh, not a big menu, only three items on there, but uh, it's really leaning in uh, for the most part to the Dockside part of the name. And uh, yeah, things are a little fishy over there. I guess that's the way I'll put it. Uh, but I still found something on the menu that I do want to try out. So I figured it's about time to come over and give it a shot. So I placed my mobile order. Now I just have to wait for my food, pick it up. And we'll get to the good part. I have my meal sitting in front of me here and I have to be honest, it looks amazing. I am so excited to try it. What did I get from Dockside Diner? I got the Chipotle chicken salad roll. And essentially this is $9.99. And this is a pulled chicken salad mixed in with a chipotle aioli and then topped with fried onions. And it looks like just a big mess on a buttered brioche roll. It looks really, really good. Then of course it's also served with a side of house made chips because yeah, you've got to serve the sandwich with chips. The other options that I could have went with, they had a shrimp salad roll. That did not sound super appealing, but the cast member at the counter did tell me it's actually pretty tasty, so maybe I'll have to come back at some point if I like this one. And then there's also a fish dip, which I'm just not in the mood for fish dip. I don't think in, in the middle of summer in Florida, I don't think about fish dip. Maybe if I was over by the ocean, but not in the middle of Hollywood Studios. So uh, I, I love the little design of the tray that they present the roll in. It's a, it's a nice touch, that long tray. It feels like it's a little bit more fancy even though it's being served in paper. Uh, this thing is very light. It is very, very light. So it doesn't feel like a hefty sandwich. I don't think it's gonna leave me completely full, but you know, that's, a, that's another problem. It's about how it tastes first and foremost. So let's go in for that first bite. I should also preface this by saying I'm not really a chicken salad fan by any means. Not any of the salads. I used to like them when I was growing up. Ham salad, chicken salad. Uh, I kind of grew out of that. I still like a good egg salad sandwich. I will take that any day of the week, but a lot of the meat-based salads, uh, not, my, not my deal anymore, unfortunately. But I will say, after taking a couple bites of this, I couldn't just stick with one. I had to take a couple. After having some, uh, this is really good. And I think a lot of that has to deal with how much Chipotle aioli is on there. It's at the level that, like, I feel like if there's any, like, mayonnaise base with the chicken salad, that's completely erased because it is, like, aioli heavy and crazy. And, yeah, I'm, I'm completely okay with that. And then there's some nice crunch in the middle of the sandwich, too, from some of the onions and the... Uh, and the celery and the chicken salad. And of course, with the crispy fried onions on top, that also helps add a little extra crunch. And yeah, there is that spicy kick to it, but then the brioche bun having that nice buttery roll to it also really adds uh, another, another uh, interesting flavor, that buttery texture that comes through. And the bread having that little toast, you know, it's, it's that little crunch on the outside, but then soft on the inside. This is a really good sandwich, but I've only taken two and a half bites and I'm already over halfway done with it. So a little bit small, but I'm gonna keep eating it. My sandwich is completely gone and I'm sad about it. There's just no beating around the bush on that, but I still have a tray full of chips to get to. And these chips look delicious. They look crunchy. They look like they're very well seasoned. So let's try them out. The chips are very, very nice. Uh, like all of Disney's house-made chips, you know, they really hit the spot with the right sandwich or corn dog or whatever you're gonna have them with. Uh, just nice and crispy, not feeling overly oily. Just a really good chip, better than opening up a bag of Lay's. Uh, in terms of the seasoning on these, wow, they are packing a punch. I feel like 
This is probably like Old Bay seasoning. It has a very similar taste. Like there's notes of uh, celery powder in there and such, but there's probably some chipotle seasoning on this as well too, kind of mixed in there because there is a spiciness to it. Uh, really good, really good. Just as good as the sandwich. Uh, a nice, well-rounded meal all together with chips and the sandwich. Normally, I wouldn't get dessert with the review just because I'm not a super huge fan of sweets. We've been over this so many times if you've been uh, paying attention to my reviews for a while. But at Dockside Diner, there's a specialty dessert here that just really caught me by surprise when I looked at it, so I had to pick it up. And it is the Seaside Brownie. It is $4.79. It is a chocolate brownie topped with white chocolate ganache and then Seaside, I forget the exact phrasing they use, but uh, I believe it said like Seaside uh, decorations or offerings on there. Uh, basically, there's like a white chocolate shell. It appears like a little, little graham cracker dust that makes it look like sand and a little like puff that I guess maybe it looks like a reef or a rock or something. It's a really, really beautiful dessert. So I, as soon as I saw the picture for it, I had to try it. And I hope it lives up to my expectations that I have for it. I mean, at the end of the day, I think it's just a simple brownie with white chocolate on there. But if it's nice, thick, fudgy, I think it'll be good. I'm trying to get a good look inside the actual dessert to the brownie portion, but the blue ocean just keeps running all around it, making it really hard to see inside. But overall, I really like the dessert. I uh, The chocolate brownie itself is pretty mediocre. This one's actually really dry. Uh, it was overcooked for sure, but I also like a good undercooked soft brownie. So this one's just a little too, little too dry for my taste. But you know, the blue ocean as it it caresses through the brownie that uh, that does add a little bit moisture back into the dish. And, you know, it's, it's that nice balance of chocolate and white chocolate flavors throughout the entire thing. So it's very, very delectable. I will say that. It's also a little messy, too. I uh, tilted the tray just a little too far one way and, uh, you know, blew all over my hands. And you're never going to want that. But I'm, uh, I'm pleasantly surprised by this. It tastes good and it's pretty. I am all wrapped up with my meal at Dockside Diner, and as you could figure it out throughout the entire meal, I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, so much so that I do think I need to come back and try the shrimp salad roll at some point or the smoked fish dip. I think I'm sold on this place. And you know, I'm, I'm just happy to see that it has an interesting menu because it felt like too long, it would get stuck in ruts where it's like, oh, we have hot dogs. and. You know, that's fine and all. You need hot dogs around the parks, but I want I want some interesting choices. And Dockside Diner's definitely delivering it. The, the heat, the flavors, the textures from the Chipotle chicken salad roll were just on point. I loved every last bite of the chips with that seasoning on there. And yeah, the, the only thing I would actually fault this on is really the dessert. The brownie was just ridiculously dry. Uh, even as I got to one portion of it in its cup, it just was like, it, it, it just got drier and drier. And I don't know how it didn't cook evenly in that situation, but yeah, that was, the brownie itself was a miss, but all the other toppings, like it's beautiful design uh, for sure. And, and the taste, taste with that white chocolate was really on point, but the brownie itself was a bit of a letdown. But overall, I mean, for $4.79 for that beautiful brownie and $9.99 for my, my roll, I feel like that's a really fair price. Would I get the brownie again? Absolutely not. But would I come back and get the roll? Yeah, that's a nice little meal you can have there for $9.99. So I really, really recommend it. Even if you're not a fan of necessarily chicken salad, if you're not a fan of that, but you do like spicy and you like buffalo chicken style meals, I would I would consider this. I would I would probably put it on your list of of things to try. And you know what? It was small enough that if you don't want to eat all the chips, you could even just make it a snack. But then again, I'm a big hungry monster. So take 
take that as however you want. What I would consider a snack for most people would be a full meal. So yeah, I guess I, guess I shouldn't even mention that at all. But that's it for this review. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please hit the thumbs up on this video. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel and that you're leaving comments, questions, and video suggestions for me in the comment section, specifically where to go eat. I know this one wasn't on the list. There's a lot of other ones I need to get to, but yeah, I had to, I had to pop this in as well. So go ahead, start throwing out those suggestions for me and I will get to as many as I possibly can. Also, if you wanna support us more, consider booking your next vacation through Dreams Unlimited Travel. Again, get a free no obligation quote at dreamsunlimitedtravel.com. But that's it for me. I'll see you again real soon with another Disney dining review. Take care. Bye-bye.